What's up guys, I'm Lee Morris and this is Patrick Hall. And as you have probably heard by now, we are doing this incredible photography workshop in the Bahamas this year from May 28th to June 1st at Atlantis Resort on the island of Nassau. And we are doing two contests that end right now. Tell them yeah, about the so two contests. Yeah, so for the first month of January, we've had two contests. One of them has been an all paid trip to the Bahamas to take any class that you want. And that's open for anybody. There's You get your flight, your hotel, and, and all the classes. classes. And I think that was open through about five different platforms. So lots of you have signed up. And then the second contest is for anyone who's already paid for a workshop up until February 1st. Right now, we are going to reimburse one lucky winner their entire class schedule. Right, so let's start with that one. This page is the big contest. We'll start with the one where we're just reimbursing people. I have three names here that we've randomly chosen. And just to make it even more random, I will ball them up and throw them in this box here. I will allow you, Patrick, to choose the winner. This person has already paid for their classes um, and they will be refunded for whatever they've paid for their classes. Thank you. There you go. And the winner of this is Rashad Penn. He has signed up for two classes, uh, Mark Wallace, Kickstart Your Creativity, and John Keatley's class, Marketing with the Big Boys, I think. All I have is Marketing with on this little Marketing with paper. the Big Boys, yeah. Yeah, so let's uh, give him a call and reveal to him that uh, he's actually getting all of his classes for free. Oh my gosh. All right, so we wanted to surprise Rashad. He's the one that won the classes for free that he's already paid for, and he didn't pick up. This happened with last year's big contest that we did too. Photographers don't like to answer their they phone don't, for some reason. They don't ever have their phone on. So we're gonna move on to the big contest, and uh, let's figure out who won the grand prize, and we'll try to give them a call. Perfect. We have five names on this sheet of paper. One is somebody that commented on the F-Stoppers post, somebody that commented on the Facebook post, somebody that shared it on Facebook, somebody that uh, retweeted the tweet that we had, and then somebody that commented on our YouTube. So that's five entries, all five were randomized to begin with, so. Yeah, and then we're gonna randomize it again. I'm going to rip these up. Go ahead and grab that. And we'll throw them in here. And I can also say, we quickly looked up these five people and we have a very good range of single, married, uh, young, old, different uh, countries, different countries, here United in the States. US, yeah. So you want to do the honors on this one? Sure. Oh, this is a big one here. This is a big one. Twitter one. This is somebody that tweeted it out. And his name is Ryan Durth. And if I remember correctly, I think this guy might be a snowboarder. I think that might have been his avatar mm. on Twitter. Okay. So uh, let's look up Ryan, see what type of photographer he is, and uh, give him a call as well. Yeah, let him know. This that is my he's favorite part, is man. surprising these people. He's not picking up. Hi, you've reached Ryan Durth, photographer. Uh. <laughs> All right, so neither of these guys are picking up the phone and we can't wait all day. We actually did this last year. We had this exact same problem and it was like eight hours before we talked to the person. So we're just gonna have to get other work done, go watch the Super Bowl today, and uh, we'll try to record his reaction, but we don't know when he's gonna call us back. So we actually just spoke to Ryan uh, we wanted to record it, but we couldn't, like we said, and he was really excited. Funny thing was, the reason why he wasn't picking up was because he was on a ski slope, which I think was the exact same reason the guy last year didn't yeah, pick up the seen phone. Yeah, we pick a lot of people that are skiers that are on the slope, so. Yeah, but he was completely shocked. Uh, I don't even know, he was like, what, how did I win? Like, he didn't even understand what was going it's on. It's easy to forget you sent that tweet out. <laughs> and then Rashad, we still haven't heard from him yet. We're probably not gonna be able to at least tell you about his reaction, because we may have to talk to him later tonight. He will be refunded for those classes that he's already paid for. Um, but stay tuned, guys, and head over to fstoppersworkshops.com. We still have a lot of spaces available. The strange thing is about this workshop, we only have room for about 150 students, maybe 200 max. At 200, like everything would be sold out. And we have over 450 people that have registered for the event, but only about 
50 have paid. It's really weird. Everybody's waiting into the last minute. I think it's just a photographer thing. And you need to realize too, waiting to the last minute, you have to have a passport. So I fear that a lot of people might be really excited to go and they realize they can't get a passport in time or maybe the rooms are sold out. Yeah, there's a very real chance that the rooms will sell out. We only have a small number actually reserved and we're about to hit that number. And then at that point, it's just kind of like whatever's available in the... Uh, so if this interests you at all, I really urge you guys to go ahead and sign up now, get into your classes, and uh, you don't want to be that guy who's left out in the cold because you waited a month before the event. Yeah, I just, uh, you're playing with fire at that point. But like we said, head over to fstoppersworkshops.com. You can learn everything about this photography workshop, about all the instructors. We have some incredible teachers and it's gonna be an awesome.